Let's take a look how to make the stretching and warping typo here in After Effects. Let's go to After Effects, click on New Composition, I gotta go with 1080p, and the background, I gotta change it to some purple, click OK. I gotta drag and drop the model, press the letter S, I gotta scale it down. Let's select the Type tool, type in whatever you want. Press the letter S, again, scale it up. I went with the Gesawack 1 regular font, and I gotta align it to the left and to the top. And I'm gonna scale it until it's gonna fit. I'm gonna align it again. I'm gonna press Ctrl D on the text to create a copy. Create one more. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna make seven copies. Let's select the seventh. Let's go to align. Align it to the bottom. Press and hold Shift select all the text. Let's go to the align. Distribute layer vertically. Okay, so we're gonna need to separate these layers. By the way, I'm gonna drag all the text layers under the model, so it's gonna be in the background, but I'm gonna need some of them on the top. So I'm gonna search for the ones which I'm gonna put on the top. So for example, this one, I'm gonna bring it above the model, and let's search for the next. For example, this one as well. And one more, I'm gonna bring this to. And I'm gonna pre-comp these three text layers, press and hold shift, select them all, right click, pre-comp. Let's rename this as text top, click OK. Let's select the rest of the text, press and hold shift, right click, pre-comp, text, bottom, click OK. Now I'm gonna go and uncheck the text top and select the text bottom. And we're gonna go to the effects and presets, type in mesh, drag and drop the mesh warp, on the text bottom, we're going to set up the rows and columns. Rows are going to be two, columns are going to be three. Let's select the mesh warp again. There you go. So this is how it needs to look. Let's bring this to the beginning. Let's activate the stopwatch at the distortion mesh. And we're going to bring it to the 0 15th frame. And I'm going to start distorting it from here. So click on the cross and I'm going to stretch it up. Let me get it again so I won't stretch it too much. And I'm going to stretch this somewhere, select it again, somewhere here. I'm also gonna select this layer, press the letter U, so it's gonna highlight the keyframes. And now I'm gonna bring it to 115. Let's select the mesh warp again, and I'm gonna stretch it a little bit, something like that, a little bit more, you know. So it's gonna go, you know, a little bit in, the, in between these seconds. Let's go to the second second, and now I'm gonna stretch them into the opposite direction like that, and I'm gonna bring the right one on the top. Now from two, I'm gonna go to the third second and do the same thing, stretch it a little bit more so it won't stay randomly. And now I'm gonna go to 315. And let's go to the first keyframe, select it, press Control C, press Control V. So it's gonna copy paste it into 315 frames. So it's gonna go back and bring the work area to 315. So it's gonna loop it. Let's select all the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. Now it's gonna go smoother. There you go, it's more dynamic. And now let's activate the text top. And we're gonna select all these keyframes and copy paste them in. Press Ctrl C and make sure to bring this at the very beginning here and click on the text top, press Ctrl V. And now it's gonna stretch the top ones as well, but as you can see, it's some glitching going on because as you can see here at the rows and columns, it's on seven and seven, and we're gonna need to set the rows at two and columns on three as the text bottom it is. And we're gonna hit play, there it is. I'm also gonna select the model, I'm gonna go with drop shadow, drag it in, increase the softness to have some shadow and increase the opacity as well. And that's how you make this really cool stretching text here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.